Hey, 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 Captain Chris Johnson here. I thought I'd do something a little different today with a little less more drinking of coffee and juice because my throat's a little razzled today. Uh, wow, wow, wow. I woke up at, uh, I think, 3.30 in the morning. And uh, what did I see? Some people say, Chris, have you seen the new pop-up yet? Well, nope, because I went to bed real early. I've been doing that a lot lately, and I'll tell you why later. Excuse me, too much coffee. Hold on. I let some people gather on here anyway. I'm taking Red Spot. Uh, I'm not sure if Red's coming on later. He said he would call. So we'll wait for that. I know Marty is coming on at 12 o'clock. Uh, probably with some of the same news I got. Maybe he'll have a little bit more. I don't know. Today's birthday is real quick. Are oh, I got all kind of texts. Okay, okay, okay. I got that one. I got that one. All right, everyone sent me messages. Happy birthday to my ex Lee. <laughs> no, I don't have an ex. My ex Lee is her name. Happy birthday, Ravi Parkish Gupta. Happy birthday. Uh, on passive go founder PNG, happy birthday. Kevin D. Millage, happy birthday. And Lucci Royal's daughter, Gabriella Roman, happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, yeah, I am have to say Tanya was texting me, and she says, Chris, are you excited? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Let me, uh, let me just tell you why I'm excited a little bit here, and then I'll get into my groove here. Uh, Big Tuesday. Throughout the journey of a passive, we have witnessed many tops and surprises. Right there, I had like a goosebump. All right. The surprise for you on Tuesday's O Connect webinar is a whole new level. More goosebumps. Refining much of the past and reflecting on our noteworthy future. Ooh, hair standing on the back of my neck. And of course, We'd like to kick it off with the Birch Khalifa projection. And that starts at uh, 1255. Yes. Am I excited? Understatement. Big, big, big excitement. Uh, read into that. Look at it. Read it again over and over and over. Do I have any idea? I've always had an idea. I've always had an idea of what is actually happening. And I'm passive. It's exciting times. Let me loosen this up. A little too much. It is exciting times, okay? Uh, there's nothing else better or a different place I want to be right now except on the lake. That's Everyone knows that. But I want to tell you something that happened to me last night. I actually did a lot of work on my house uh, this weekend, and I want to apologize to anyone that tried to get me on Oak Connect. I was very busy, believe it or not. I tried to get every I – don't, I don't have fun on the weekends – I try to get all my work done during the weekend so I can have fun during the week. I'm a little, I'm a little topsy turvy, a little backwards. So last night I thought, or yesterday about about four or five o'clock, I said, "Man, what do I ever do that I could do different today?" I did a lot of work. I thought, "I'm going to go lay in my bed and watch TV." I've never really done that, believe it or not. I don't watch TV in bed, even though I got a TV in there. So I got on there and I turned it on. I said, "Let me just try something." I wish I wouldn't have. OK, I turned on the TV, not knowing about any of the big news that we're coming into Tuesday yet because it's early. And what do I do? I turned on uh, CNN and then I turned on Fox News. Now, I want you to hear me out a little bit about this. Um, I was depressed because I thought I turned off this stuff three years ago when I got into a passive and I never turned it back on. And this is the reason being it's exactly the same thing. All right, one news channel that hates the other hates the other news channel, and the reason I got so upset. If I could personally talk to CNN and Fox News, this is what I would say: uh, You hate Donald Trump, and you hate Joe Biden. All right, and I guess nothing else matters. This is where I was getting furious about. This is my opinion, of course. 
All I heard about is Donald Trump this and Joe Biden and his son did this. Okay. And, and, and most of you know that I was a big Trump supporter. Uh, I was an Obama supporter. And I thought about what about everyone else? Why do these two channels constantly concentrate on a, a former president and a new president and forget about the entire world? Now, here is 50 to $100 million new, news anchors telling us what we should, we should, well, what we should be doing. Both telling us negative stuff, hateful stuff. And I thought, my God, hello, CNN. Hello, Fox. This is Chris Johnson. I represent a company called Impassive, and uh, we don't like what you're doing or saying about anyone because all you talk about is two individuals. What happened to the rest of the world? What happened to the people that are starving? Why don't you take your 50 to $100 million anchors and talk about something that matters that's good? How about, what? why don't we take all your salaries, and I'm going to use you now, Miss <laughs> the networkers, let's take all your salaries and let's put it towards stopping women and kids that are being taken and sold as sex slaves. Wow, that would be productive now, wouldn't it? Let's not talk about two guys that are very rich that uh, are in politics. Listen, political people, as you know lately, in any country, they don't seem to care anymore about us. What they want to do is they want to fight each other and forget about the real problems. What's what's the real problems? And I'm saying in America and around the world, that's happening. All right. Did are we just a forgotten people? And that's what I got so mad about. Do they ever really want to do anything good on these channels? Now, there's other news channels, I'm sure. And this is why I stopped watching them. But the whole thing was. This one wants Donald Trump here, and this one wants Joe Biden here. And I'm thinking, well, well where, where's the people in all this? Do, do the people have a say anymore? Do I got to constantly listen to people that are making $100 million a year tell me how my life should go and who I should support? Listen, wake up, uh, passive Vivians. All right, yeah, I'm talking a little political today. today. I, didn't, I didn't mean to, but think for yourself. All right. What I would tell Fox News and CNN is I met this phenomenal person. His name was Ash Mafara. All right. He doesn't talk about politics. He talks about a lot of the things that were wrong the last 20 years on what people did online and uh, what he did to fix that. He doesn't care if you're a Democrat, a Republican, an independent. He doesn't care if you're Catholic, Lutheran, Muslim. Uh, whatever other religion that you pray to, he doesn't care about any of that. When he talks to people like myself is, hey guys, we're going to change things for the better. In other words, take all the stuff that you've been hearing on Fox News and CNN and MSB and what all these channels and stop listening to them because all they're doing is preaching hate. You guys know what I'm saying? And passive does not preach hate. And passive does not segregate like CNN and Fox News and the other channels do. And I'm picking on those two because I this is my personal opinion. At one time in my life, I would switch back and forth just to see which idiot was right. And I realized that none of you are right because you forgot about what's important in this world, about helping people, about reporting good news. I've not seen you report anything good uh, TV channels in a very long time. I'm Listen, I'm up for the job. I'm up for the job about preaching good news, about companies that are striving to better humanity. All right, uh, Elon Musk, was asked a question I watched the other day is, what are you doing for humanity? Everything that Elon Musk has done is to help humanity. Uh, electrical cars, he's going into space trying to find different stuff. He's doing that. Yeah, he's rich. We know that. He, he sends out warnings about certain things. We know that. All right? But he's not bashing the other companies. 
<laughs> he's not he's not doing that. So guys, do yourself a favor. Stop worrying about what CNN and Fox News has to say. And uh, I don't. I think I'm being pretty honest about this. Hey, I'll, I'll, CNN, Fox. How about I start a new news channel? It's called nothing to do with politics and everything to do with people and humanity and how we can do better in this world instead of hate. And you don't got to pay me nothing. I'll do it for free. Okay. You don't have to pay me anything. I'll do it for free. Some of you newscasters out there who I used to have a lot of respect for when I found out what kind of money you make and then you're going to preach to people like us, tell us what we should be doing, how we should vote. This is against your rights. Listen, the only thing that gets my rights is listen to you idiots talk. Now, do I want to take away what's going on tomorrow? No, I don't. I just thought that was something really important that I needed to say because I want to know where, when, when did America and the world stop caring about people? I've witnessed many things I've watched this weekend and on my two or three minute breaks I was taking from my house about North Korea. They have this beautiful young North Korean woman explain me what life was like over there, what they had to endure. Why do we allow madmen like that to run countries? That's the sad thing about it. And what, what, how vicious uh, this president is toward his own people and he don't care about them. This is what I'm saying. This is the news that we see. Why don't we see, hey, look at... Uh, Another company just built an entire city, freshwater pipes, or new buildings for people that are having a little down luck. They can come in and they can sleep and they can get food. Let's not even call them homeless anymore. Let's just call them the people that were affected by the economy, who have no other way to turn. Where do they turn? They turn to the streets. They turn to the streets. When I found out that a passive actually cares about everyone, not just, you know, our wealth. They care about our wealth. But but saying, hey, listen, we're just teaching you something here. There's a lot of people in this world who've never had a break or a chance, who've never had the opportunity, let's say, just to go on a vacation. Or maybe their kids have never had shoes or clothes. Man. That's the kind of stuff I'd like to see. What what news channel? You know who I miss? I love this girl, Ellen DeGeneres. You know why? Because I believe she made a difference in the TV world. She was always helping someone out. She was always taking care of someone less fortunate. We need a lot more Ellen DeGeneres in this world. Okay? Whether you know about her, her being gay or not is irrelevant to me. She helped people out. She did a lot of good. All right. I, I loved Ellen DeGeneres. I actually miss her. Matter of fact, if she's listening, Ellen, I'd wish you'd come back and do it all again. Come on back. Or at least put people just like you back on TV. They took all the good off TV, man. And they put all bad. Think about 40 years ago. You know, we had Johnny Carson, David Letterman, all the greats late night. And what were they doing? They were making people laugh. They were showing people what they were doing, keeping us happy. Now all you see at night is news. Oh, look at this country. We got Russian and Ukraine still fighting for what? Another crazy madman just trying to kill people. Yeah. What happened to media? What happened to good things happening in this world? It's just... Yeah, listen, what happened to a family that went on a vacation and uh, went to Disney World and they showed the happiness? And love? Why? That's boring to this world. They'd rather see someone getting a car crash and their head roll down the street. Hey, man, let's change that. How about writing your, your, your news network saying, hey, you guys ever got anything? Every one of you write CNN or Fox News and say, do you ever have anything good to say? Can you give me a reason why I should even watch your channel anymore? And then let them know about a passive. Do you know there's a company out there that really cares about people? 
They're not worried about a couple of billionaires who have done so many things wrong. <laughs> I don't care what Biden or Trump has done in their past life. If they did wrong, karma will get you. I've watched them accuse each other over and over. Nothing's ever done about it. But yet we got to listen to it. We got to see it. Why the average Joe, the average Jane is just trying to get to work and make some money to feed their family. Boom. Unpassive comes along. Unpassive comes along and says, uh, we, we want to change that. We want to do things different. We want to do things unique. We want to do things that's so outrageous that really no one's going to believe us, but we're, we're going to do it. Not only are they doing it, but they did it. All right, man, the greatest thing that happened to me in my life is I came into an impassive. I came into being a founder and I realized that I don't have to watch this junk on TV anymore. I realized that I could start thinking for myself not someone telling me what I need to do, all right? And passive gives you the options to do everything you've always wanted to do, okay? And uh, I have to say for $97, there's people that will charge you five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 to go to a seminar to listen listen to them tell you the same thing Ask Me Fire has been telling you all along. And he pretty much does it for free. Uh, $97 I got into this. Never asked to pay another dime ever. Realize there's not just one thing. There's many things about a passive that is uh, coming our way. All right. What does CNN and Fox, what does that give you? Does it help pay your bills? No. Nope. Does it create hate in your heart and your mind? Absolutely it does. All right. When I was a kid, we didn't hear about school shootings or, you know, we had the JFK got shot. World news. Every day now, all news people want to do is let's go find some grime. Let's go find. Oh, we had another school shooting. Oh, we had another crazy person kill a bunch of people at church. They're not trying to promote anything good. So, like I said, I'm up for the challenge. Let me run a network free of charge. You ain't got to pay me nothing. And let me go around the world telling you, wow, look at this person. Look what they did. Look how they're helping people. You know why? Because I got a lot of founders I got to visit all over the world who I know are going to do that. Because they stop watching the craziness of this world. Stop realizing that the world only cares about bad things and doesn't want to help people. And passive is there to help people, no matter who you are. No matter the color, if you're ugly, big, skinny, what religion, that's what I loved about it. I didn't need to have a uh, quote-unquote union in a passive because, wow, we all think the same. Now, we might not always agree on things, but we agree to disagree, okay? We respect each other as far as religions. I think we're all the same individuals. You know, you, you have the famous saying, "We if you get cut, we all bleed red. We all want to take care of our families. And then you go and turn on the news. And it tells you the exact opposite. Why? Because it doesn't even talk about you. It doesn't talk about you. It only cares about a couple of fat cats who are trying to run this country. And they're running it into the ground. I say, let people run the country. Let average people who work every day, who know what it's like to uh, dig holes and sweat and struggle. And they, you know, there's a famous saying, they always say this. If you pay a politician, what let's say a cop pays gets paid or a fireman, they might work a little bit harder for people. You see what I'm saying? I mean, no one even likes policemen anymore. It's probably one of the lowest paid professions. And yeah, why? Because a couple of bad cops screwed it up for everyone. Don't let a couple of bad news networks screw it up for everyone. There's a lot of good in people in this world still, no matter what country they live in. They're just trying to feed their family. And Unpassive is going to bring those people out. Unpassive will change people's hearts. 
It will take away the hate and just bring in nothing but good and love. And to those people who are really true haters, they're always going to be. And you, you, you just got to ignore them sometimes, even though it's hard enough. But you can ignore them and stop watching the crap on TV. I'm sorry, but I, I used to like watching the Brady Bunch. <laughs> you know, we didn't have, we had news channels, what, 247, I think were our news channels. And it was just what was going on. Good stuff. Good stuff. Tell me what's the last time you turned on CNN or Fox News and they actually said something good. All they care about is two guys right now. And, and who can knock the other one down? Where Ash Bafar and a passion cares about everyone and doesn't want to knock anyone down, wants to bring everyone up. You get what I'm saying? Now, was I going to even talk about this thing? No, I didn't. No, until early this morning that Ashman Farah was going to do a bang-up, blow-up meeting on Tuesday. So sometimes when I don't have a lot of information, I think of my own, how I can speak, what I can say. I try to be uplifting. I try to tell people, hey, man, you really are in a great position. Uh, I was, I did 1-0 Connect yesterday where some of the things weren't working perfectly because they're still working on it. And I use the expression as, Years ago, now this is a a, uh, a not real story, but I use it as a an example. Years ago, I built a six hundred thousand dollar house, beautiful. Had it all done. Went to go into the house, open the door. The door was stuck. It was stuck. I could not get into this big, beautiful house because the door was stuck. The frame had warped a little bit. I had to make some adjustments on this big, beautiful house to get into it on that door, which took a couple minutes. Now, when you're building things, and this goes back to a passive, when you're building global companies, all right, this big worldwide, <laughs> things going everywhere, there's going to be some uh, doors that might not open perfectly. You got to tweak them a little bit. All right. And once they get the tweak in the silence, they get it straight. Everything runs perfect. And that's what we're going through right now. That's what a lot of you are seeing. Uh, I say, don't get discouraged. All right. Nothing was built perfect the first time, but they're going to make it. So it's perfect. When we go to the next level of O connect, <laughs> you're not going to see that stuff. The stuff's just going to keep getting better. If you think in the past, see, no one saw no one saw Facebook when it broke down. You know, a couple of days ago, my messenger went out where I could see people sending me messages, but it would not let me connect to anybody. And I thought it must be just me. I didn't have no one to get on a webinar and say, oh, my messenger ain't working. I actually called a few people. I said, I know you're messaging me. It won't let me respond. Yeah, I'm having the same problem. You see, we don't see that stuff. Who are you going to call if Facebook Messenger does it stops working for you? You're not going to go on a, a webinar and say, hey, you see, because you don't see it. But here in Passive, you're actually seeing it. You're witnessing it. You're living it. You're on the journey with it. And believe it or not, 10 years from now, when you are woohoo, when a passive is woohoo, that's things you're going to talk about. You're going to say, Hey, Pretty, remember that time when we first got an O-Connect and uh, my mute button kept going on and off? Ha! And we were worried. Look at us now. Look at us now. You are going to look back and say, wow, just like everything in your life. Think back when you were a teenager or a kid and you did a lot of really silly things. And you all know you did. You kind of laugh about it. But then again, you don't want your kids making that same mistake, even though they're probably going <laughs> to do it anyway. You get it? Never, nothing is ever perfect, perfect, perfect. There's always going to be adjustments. The issue is with a passive is you're watching, you're actually telling them the things that need to be adjusted. And they're doing that. Now, is it fast as you want? Well, it's big, man. You don't just say, hum, I got to correct this letter because that one little change might, might might affect a whole bunch of things. So the whole team gets in there and they have to understand if we do this, what's it going to affect? And they're really getting really, really good at it. Really good at it. Okay. Now 
There are things that have to be tweaked and adjusted. We all know that. But if your Facebook or your social media, something goes wrong, you have no one to complain to. You're not going to call their support and say, hey, my messenger ain't working. No, but you can actually see it on here. It's really all I'm trying to say. All right, because I started so early, and I apologize, guys. I'm going off in a little crazy things. I just want to, listen, this is me. I have to be who I am. I'm excited. I know that I've, I'm not working for a company. I'm growing with a family, a family that cares about everyone, All right, a family that walks around and picks that person up that fell down, helps them out, gets them going, Starts them up and watches them thrive. Yeah, they we're going to fall a few times, guys. We know that. Everyone knows that. Every big speaker in the world, every prominent person, man or woman in the world that's done something amazing has said, I learned from my failures. You know what my biggest failure was? Watching the damn news. <laughs> that was my failure because I was one of those guys three years ago. Ah, yeah, man, I ain't nothing but hate. I let it go. I, all I did was it was easy. I just didn't turn on the TV anymore. I missed a lot of good movies. I love movies, by the way. You know that. I just don't want to go to those news channels because all they do is the – if they just talked about something else. If they – I watched a 16-year-old kid the other day uh, who's Gen X, I think they call him, saying, you know what, telling the, the parties, you guys are really disappointing us. This kid, I think, is going to be a rock star in a, the political world. And I can't stand politics because they just don't help anybody. When have they helped? Never. What is a passive going to help? Everything. And I hope to God I get to be the TV host for that. Look what Unpassive did today. Not nothing about, look at, yep, that president, he shut down the pipelines. Yep, a passive's building new pipelines. But it's but it's got fresh milk and fresh water to these countries that's never had. Why don't you do something like that? I've never understood why we all know for the last hundred years what's wrong, but no one wants to fix it. They just want to complain about it. You see what I'm saying? We know what's wrong, but why aren't they fixing it? Guess what? We get to do. We get to fix it. Why can't we run pipelines like they do with gasoline and oil to countries for fresh water. And guess what? If one of those pipes break, it isn't going to hurt nothing. But it's sure going to help a whole lot of people. Okay? But we have technology where we don't have to run the, the lines of water. We can suck it right out of the air. Nobody should have to die because they're thirsty. Nobody should have to die because they're hungry. And no one should have to suffer, period. If you, I want you guys to add up this, and I'm not knocking these people. I'm just saying, add up every newscaster that you know, how much money they make a year. And then I want you to add on these sports people. I love sports. Do I think they get paid overpaid? I do. When I know a fireman puts his life in danger, makes thirty-five to $55,000 a year, and this guy's shooting the ball, hitting the ball, shooting the puck, and making millions of dollars a year, I do got a problem. Take all that away. Let's just say, let's take 500 big sports guys and 500 big newscaster people that are making all this money. Could you imagine actually what good that money will do? Think about it. What's more important to you? To watch a guy shoot a ball three seconds, make it win the game, which is exciting. He's getting $120, $160 million a year. Or watching a baby for the first time drink fresh water. Or a family getting fresh food brought to them. To me, what World Series? That, to me, is important. But the thing is, we could do both. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of those big sports guys, probably even new casters that may donate some and help these individuals out. God, I hope they do. I can't wait to do that even more. But just think about that. If you took their incomes, and I'm not saying you shouldn't make this. God, if someone's going to pay you that kind of money, God bless you. 
All right. I know what kind of money I made. People hated auto workers because we made good money. All right. I had to work for it. Went through a lot of bad things. Did it. Helped out where I could. But you're talking the difference. Let's say the, the average worker, I'd say, makes anywhere from fifty dollars to $100,000 in America. I think the average worker. And you got people that are making $120 million a year. Can you imagine if you just paid that person, let's say, $5 million a year, and the rest of that money went allocated to help individuals out? Now, it's not their fault. Shouldn't take away from them, but when is enough is enough too much? Oh, everyone wants money. Everyone wants to do their dreams and drive nice cars and have nice houses. But if you really think about it, Ash has said this many times, how many houses do you need? Me, I like hotels myself. But you tell me what's more exciting, watching a guy shoot a puck, hit a baseball out of the park, you win, it's exciting. I love sports, don't get me wrong. But while we're enjoying that big game, drinking a cold beer, eating a pretzel, a hot dog, there's just people starving and we forget about those people. Now, I'm not saying that we should stop our lives because their lives aren't so good. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying is if society created more educational programs and get rid of the news and say, listen, there is some individuals who need a little help. Can you imagine worldwide help? That's what I think a path is going to be. Worldwide help, not getting on the TV and they show us, you know, these kids are starving. What happens? The money goes, food goes to a warehouse. The next thing you know, it's rotted. A small percentage gets to them. The, the rest of the fat cats take it and run. Where again, a passive doesn't take anything. It goes right to the source. It goes right to the source. Just for one minute, turn off your TV. For this week, turn off your television. Stop watching the news if that's what you do. Think about things that you could do to make life better, not only just for yourself, but for other people around you. All right? Just think about that. Actually, go on to social media and put up life in North Korea. All right? Or trafficking human beings. All stuff that really could be fixed. But do they really want to fix it? I don't think so. I think I think just like cancer, uh, people find a cure for cancer all the time, I believe. Just they don't want to stop it because it makes them a lot of money. That's called greed. Man, listen, I lost my father, some aunts and uncles to cancer and friends. If I knew someone had a cure for it, but were stopped because the greedy pharmaceuticals needed to make more money, more billions, I would be pretty upset. And the sad thing is it's probably the truth. So I think a passive is going to change a lot of that. And I really am all over the map today. I don't mean to be this way, but sometimes it's better just to get it out. But do yourself a favor. Turn on a passive 100%. Know what's coming your way. Get excited about tomorrow. Know that you are going to be able to do good for you and your family and for this world. And you're going to be a part of that. Take all the other crap and throw it out the window. All right. To be honest, it doesn't matter who runs your country. As you can see, in some countries, it's evil rulers. And they get what they want no matter what. Even in this country, we can't make up our minds. 50% hate, 50% like or love. And it just doesn't work. But when you got 100% of a company that's giving 100% of their time to helping humanity out, it will change. It might not change overnight, but I promise you it will change. All right? You're going to see a lot more smiling. And like I said, don't be surprised when you see Chris Johnson on the Friendly Network. Okay? Talking about good things, about what what... That that needs to be done, guys. Gosh, if I could just turn all those channels to, to... I wish I could turn them all off for a month just to watch how people react differently. Don't show these people crazy people killing people. Ignore it. Stop blaming on something because this guy lost his mind. This woman lost her mind. Why did they lose her mind? That's the question we need to ask. Why wasn't there someone to help them? Talk to them. 
That's another problem we have. Oh, my God, I don't want to get into it. Let's just be excited. Tomorrow is a big meeting day, a big meeting day. And uh, do I know what he's going to say? Yeah, absolute pure excitement. And I'm ready for it. And guess what? I was going on my boat tomorrow because it's supposed to be gorgeous. I'm not going. Why? Because that is more important to me. That is more important to me to hear how we're going to change the world. I mean, we are, listen, a passive is going to create wealth in this world. And I think it's clean, good wealth. Not because you shot a basketball or a hockey puck or a baseball or a soccer ball, which is all cool stuff. Do, do any of you ask yourself, look at yourself and say, would I ever have an opportunity like this if it wasn't for a passive right now? Or would I just do the same thing as keep working, working, working like a dead stiff? Because that's what you are when you work like that. You're a dead stiff. Hey, it's Christmas. Wow. Hey, Easter's here. Yep, same old stuff. Wow, I get a day off. <laughs> Guys, that ain't living. I live that life. It's not living. What you're about to witness is the greatest thing that's ever been invented. And that's called freedom and time. And guess who invented it? on passive and that's what you're going to get out of it so now marty's coming on in 20 minutes i went a lot longer than i thought i would i want to thank you for me going off a little bit i do not mean to be that way i just sometimes feel like i gotta say things marty even tries to talk me out of it sometimes like, oh, i really have to talk about this but i know i'm in a great place so let me say hi to a couple people Burgeth, bavine benny uh cena Rob Lynn, Matt Hatter, Rob Lynn Live, 8 o'clock. Don't forget that. Every night, seven days a week. Michael and Julie will not be doing a live today at 3 o'clock. Michael, is, if you don't know, is doing a lot of traveling with his kids. And congratulations to your kids, Michael. Uh, Robert McGee, Doma. Tanya Hatter, what's happening? I hope you all had a nice Mother's Day, too. Uh, Roy Davies. Shirley Dodson. Dr. Lisa Lee. Christina Dodds, uh, Kildo, Curtis, <laughs> Willow Griffith. Yes, we do, Willow. We have people, starving people in America. That's, that's, listen, America's not so great. I hate to say it that way. We have, we have just many bad things. Matter of fact, some of the biggest trafficking uh, is out of Detroit, Michigan. God, why? Is that sad? I just don't get it. We sell people, we sell kids. To evil people, I that's a business, folks. Shouldn't that be talked about on the news every day? Is how we're gonna stop it? How we're raiding these these corporations or these multi-drug lords that are doing this? Shouldn't we be doing something that and talking about he did this, she did this? Let's go get people, man. Let's go get them. Gina Leva. Yes, we are so blessed. Kushal. <laughs> Jerry Nix, how you doing, brother? Nice to see you on here. Frank Rover at Red, thanks for giving me your spot today. I get a few different more people, which I love. Uh, your birthday was yesterday. Asagio, see Paul, happy birthday. Uh, prayers, I'm healed. Happy birthday to you, brother. Pretty, uh, how you doing? Santana, what's happening? Kathy GW. Today, Mary was number one. Beat beat out uh, the one guy that's been the record holder. Yvonne Finn, Cynthia Deering, Greg Duda. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to see my eyes. They're not too bad today. They're a little sore. Uh, I think I got everybody. The Beave. How you doing, Beave? <laughs> Guys, check your back office constantly. I, I said last week, I think a couple says that this week's going to be an exciting week. And the truth is, I only know what I read. And I'm real excited about that. So keep checking that. Doma, what's happening? Amy Rydecki, there's a Michigan dander. Michigan dander. Adrian, there's a new one. I uh, Adriana, food chain, how you doing? Frank Rowe, are you free enough? I know who that is, Verona. Uh, Robert Gunther. I have not watched the news for about three years. 
Me either, brother. I did it the other day for a test. And you know what? I failed miserably because it was the same dang thing. Good God, they're, they're still fighting about these two idiots. Is there anyone in America today that would like to run for the president of the United States that isn't a multi-billionaire? And, I, and Robin made a good point to me the other day is, you know, we shouldn't blame somebody for coming wealth. Absolutely, we shouldn't. If you come for wealth, God bless you. But is there anyone out there that actually worked 40 or 50 years of their life that, that's pretty smart, that knows how to work with people? Because I think that's what the credentials are. That's not all about beating people up and killing people. I think you should run for president. God, that sounds like me, but no, I don't want that job. But I tell you what, I would do a better job than they would. I guarantee you that. Why? Why? Because Marty DeGarmo would be my vice president. <laughs> oh, that would be a pair, wouldn't it? Uh, it's kind of funny now that I say that, but you know, what are you going to do? Sharon, how you doing? <laughs> It's our Gene Olivia. It is our mission to change these things. Absolutely, Gene. Pam Turner. Pam Turner, I've got a funny thing for you. Where did I put that? Hold on. I got to read this. Don't go anywhere. It's funny. Wait. Just for you, Pam. Ooh. Here I come back. Don't go nowhere. It's funny. Now, you all know Pam Turner loves to garden. And I got this little plaque that I found in my sunroom. I didn't even really know it was there. You ready, Pam? Everyone? It says, this is Pam today. This is Pam Turner today. We are so excited about the garden, we wet our plants. <laughs> I love it. What do you think, Pam? You like that? Let me say it again. We are so excited about the garden, we wet our plants. I think it's funny. I'm sorry. Maybe it wasn't that funny, but I thought it was funny. Uh, Robert Tantulo, you on here somewhere? Uh, what's happening, brother? From New Jersey. Deronda. Uh, M. Kaylee. Giovanni Finn, I said. The Beave. <laughs> Where's Wally? Uh, Roy Davies, who am I missing? Greg Latkin, how you doing with the electrical car guy? Let me jump around. Tanya and Kelly. Dana's energy. Sorry, Dana. It was a busy weekend for me. Uh, my weekends are going to be like that for the next couple weeks. I've been getting a lot done. During the week, I'm either going fishing or I'm going to be on uh, somewhere. <laughs> I'm trying to enjoy my life. Harry, what's happening, Harry? Gift of OP. Casey Sevenberg and Raphael, what's up? You love it, eh, Pam? I thought it was kind of funny. I was going to have to gift wrap it and send it to you because I thought it was was perfect for you. I'm not a gardener, uh, so I'm a boater. My my mind would say, uh, I'm so excited about the boat. We wet our, <laughs> our boats. I don't know. <laughs> I got to go. I'm being too goofy now. God bless all of you. Be ready for tomorrow. DeGarmo's coming on next. He might have some more exciting things, probably a lot more exciting than I am today. Uh, thank you again for listening to me. Um, go do something productive today. And if you can't do something productive, then go do something fun. Let this let this happen. Ask before is going to come out and talk to us tomorrow, which is really cool. And uh, just listen. Listen, I'm not going to say, what do we used to say? I never liked it. We said, don't expect to hear something you want to hear. Just go listen to the guy. And then after we listen to him, we'll break it down what he was trying to say. <laughs> still, that still cracks me. I even think he thinks that's funny. So let's go have fun, guys. That's what it's about. I love every one of you. God bless. Go check out Marty's coming in about 17 minutes. He should be on time. I'm giving him plenty of time today. Red, I hope you're doing great with Jane. I'm sure Red will be back on tomorrow. Uh, and who else? Anyone else that's going on today? If I forgot, check the back office. A lot of Indian Bay webinars, a lot of Bangladesh webinars. People doing Oak Connects, just keep going. I love everyone of you. God bless. Marty DeGarmo, it's all you in 15 minutes. You can call me if you want now. Bye if you haven't already. Let's see. Did he call me? Let me read that again. Hold on. Don't leave yet. Throughout the journey of a passive, we have witnessed many tops and surprises. The surprise for you on Tuesday's Oak Connect webinar is a whole new level. 
Woohoo! Refining much of the past and reflecting on, on our noteworthy future. Man, that's that's some pretty exciting words there, guys. All right, go get them, guys. Listen, we got a free O-mail. It's pretty interesting. Go tell people about it. It's free. It's free. The, listen, it's like this. Someone's giving you the world's fastest, greatest car vehicle in the world, and it's free. Go share it. We got a couple of those products that are free. Not hard to do. Five minutes of your day, and you will join people. I love every one of you. God bless. Thank you.